Oh, hello. Why, yes, I'm Bondu the Tracker. What's your quarry? What? Who said I'd know anything about that? You don't look like a member of the Skyhaven Resistance. Why are you asking? You want to help her? A member of the Resistance? I really wasn't expecting that. I, I heard some Resistance members are supposed to be executed on the Shattered Rise. If I were her, that's where I'd head. That's noble of you, but the area is swarming with Talos soldiers. Do you really think you can save them? There's no shame in running away. Warrior, be careful out there. Thank you for coming to my aid. I am a Skyhaven Red Guard. I serve as a hand of the Skyhaven Commander, leader of the Resistance. Her protection is my sworn duty. I am Shin Hai, Scourge of the Dominion, protector of the people, purveyor of vengeance. This it is but a flesh wound. Doesn't hurt. I assure you, I'll be fine. Uh, Ixanun. A hero does not wait while lives are at risk. <laughs> Stand aside. I cannot abandon my allies. I will not. <sighs> hmm. You seem like a skilled fighter. I would be grateful to have you at my side. Come, let us away. <sighs>
It seems it was the Talus army themselves that spread the rumors of the execution. They had hoped to attract the Skyhaven commander in person, no doubt. It's about time our young friend saw proper medical treatment, don't you think? I'd rather not carry her home. It seems this young lady is still alive, thanks to you. I suppose Sokyon managed to drill something into that thick skull of yours after all. Still, there's a long road ahead. Defeating Jin Seoyun would be no easy task. You have little chance of mastering the Hong Moon arts while wrestling with the Mark of the Black Rose. The normal process of driving such dark and twisted chi from your body is a long struggle known as the Way of Enlightenment. But there is little time for that. However, there still may be a way. What we really need is an infusion of uncorrupted chi. And if there were anyone with a little extra to go around, it'd be the sacred beasts of Moonwater Plains. Convincing them to part with some of their own life force, though. Now that's the hard part. I've seen that your destiny and that of this young lady are somehow connected. Maybe some mutual backscratching is the first step towards stopping Jin Soyun. Think about it. To be acquainted with the Realm Walker, one of the four guardians of old, you are no ordinary warrior. This explains much. If that is the case, I feel I can trust you. Take this. It is the Skyhaven badge. A symbol of authority. Whoever bears this badge speaks on the commander's behalf. Use it justly. My mission remains as crucial as ever, but I can't go on like this. If you are willing, I would have you take up my quest. The goal of the Skyhaven Resistance is to eradicate corrupt Talus elements and end the exploitation of honest citizens by any means necessary. We are a formidable force, but our numbers pale in comparison to those of the Talus army. Dark times brew within these lands. For years, the Talus Dominion has taken brutal measures towards the acquisition of soul stones for dark purposes. We seek to form an alliance between all the major tribes of the Moonwater Plains and end the Dominion's oppression. There is a long-standing bond between the Plains tribes and the sacred beasts of Moonwater. If you seek their power, then helping us build alliances with the tribes will further your own goals as well. First, speak with Skyhaven Agent Bondu at the Hunter's Camp. He will introduce you to Sanugo, the liaison to the Lycandi tribe. The Lycandi worship Lycan the Mighty, one of the sacred beasts of the Moonwater Plains. I'm sorry. I must rest. I will go with Ixanun back to Green Hollow. The Alliance is more important than you could know. The Skyhaven depend on you. Be the hero I cannot. It's up to you then. I believe in you.
You're back. You were great out there. The Resistance is lucky to have someone of your skill. The Skyhaven badge. She really gave you the badge of all people? I... I mean, I'm at your command. Ah, yes. We've been in contact with the nearby Lycandi tribe, but discussion has been rocky at best. Sanugo is actually meeting with their representative as we speak. He should have been back by now, though. They're a couple hours overdue. I'm sure the meeting is just going extremely well, that's all. I suppose. I guess it's a little odd that he hasn't checked in yet. The meeting is taking place in the Predator's Den. Start your search there. Well, he's supposed to be meeting with one of their representatives. Hopefully negotiations are just running a little long. Be careful.
So dark. The woman, did you see her? She, she's the one who attacked the commander. No, I won't make it. And they must know. That woman, she is too powerful. Tell everyone to stay away. We did not meet the Lycandi. They ran when the woman appeared. The Alliance may still be possible. Bondu, I'm sorry. I failed. The mission is in your hands. Defeat the Talus Dominion. Build a new world for the people. I'm sorry, Bondu. Why was he so late? Did the Lycandi stand us up? What? They can't be. Sanugo only joined the resistance a few weeks ago. How did this happen? That must be the same woman who ambushed the commander. Why does she have it out for the resistance? Listen, we can grieve later, but for now we need to focus on the mission. With Sanugo dead, I need you to act as our ambassador to the Lycandi. Except, well... They tend to attack anyone who isn't part of their pack. Sanugo gained their trust enough to meet with them, but you will need to start slow. The Talos army has been encroaching into their lands for months now. The Lycandi were always territorial, but the constant Talos attacks have made them downright bloodthirsty. The Lycandi worship Lycan the Mighty, their wolf god. You'll need to speak with the tribe's witch doctor, but you certainly can't go empty-handed. Brombear hides should make a fine gift of introduction. When you've acquired the pelts, meet me at Lilystock Trade Post.
Disguise is very critical in the Skyhaven Resistance. Take this fetching Dragon Trade Union disguise, for example. I bet you hardly recognize me. Fantastic! These will make the perfect gift for the Witch Doctor. Take the pelts to the Dark Wolf Altar and pay your respects. Speak with the Witch Doctor and see if an alliance with the Lycandi is possible. And risk blowing my cover? I'm much too valuable of an asset for such lowly field work. Remember, you must bow before the altar. If you don't show proper respect, who knows what they'll do to you. I'll be waiting for good news. Speak to Lycan, the mighty god of the wolves, sacred beast of the green fields. Why have you come? The people of the wolves care little for the quarrels of outsiders. Why should we abandon our lands to aid one who bears the mark of the Black Rose? You cannot hide your corruption from me. The Lycandi will never hunt alongside fetid outsiders such as you. Now be gone before you doom these lands with your evil. Lycan spirit fades. You have your answer.
Looks like the Lycandy didn't kill you. That's a good start. Did you manage to bring up the Alliance? You mean the Wolf God? Wow, that's a big no then. But, as always, Bondu's got a backup plan. Some Skyhaven ambassadors have been talking with a young Lycandy warrior. Her name is Salkai the Swift. She's the daughter of their leader. She seems sympathetic to our cause, and I think, with the right push, she'd be willing to convince her father to join us. The best way to contact Salkai the Swift is by signal fire. Light one up here where they can see it, and she'll know we're sending a messenger to her tent. Good luck. You're gonna need it. You stand before Salkai the Swift, Windrunner and Blood Spiller. Be quick with your words, Skyhaven One. Like Andy Wolf, suffer while we stand here. The Craven Talus kill my pack mates and have taken Cory the Quick, the leader of our pack and my own blood father. The Talus seek to tame the Lycandi by removing our leader. They know nothing, for we will slaughter any Talus dogs that tread in our pack lands, whether the leader lives or not. When a leader falls, a new one rises. The pack will always have a leader. Until there are no wolves left. But the pack leader they have taken is my own blood father. I must free Coid the Quick so he can lead again. Even if I must bleed to do it. However, the Talus have invaded our den, and I am duty-bound as future pack leader to chase them out. 
Even Salkai the Swift cannot do both at once. In truth, how can I trust one outside of the pack? I take your word, outsider. Find Coid the Quick while I rid my home of the Talus. Prove faithful, and perhaps the like handy can consider running with the Skyhaven. I trust you, outsider. Are you? Why do you aid the pack? My nose is muddled by blood, but you carry my daughter's scent. I wish Salkai the Swift had come herself. A wolf should be with its kin while leaving this world. But I go with the blood of many enemies upon my spear. This is a good death. My child has trusted you, outsider, and so will I. Gather the spears of any fallen like candy. Return them to the pack. We will need weapons to protect our pack lands. Slaughter any talus in your path. You cannot do that right now.
the spears? I feel a great hunt coming, and a danger that may destroy these lands. Tell her to sharpen her fangs, for she must lead the pack in this hunt. The wind calls me. I will wait for Salkai in the Eternal Forest, where we will again run as father and daughter. Go, tell her this. You cannot do that right now. The den is cleared of Talus. Our best hunters have seen to it. Why do you walk alone, outsider? Where's my father? He... he is gone. This is not... I cannot lead the pack as he did. My strength is not his. My fangs. Yes, he says true. I cannot whimper and whine like a cub. Not now. Thank you for these words, outsider. I will now lead the pack, and my spear will know Talus' blood. You act true, Outsider. The other Skyhaven people did not have your strength. We will hunt alongside your pack, if there are more such as you. Tell your Bondu that we will have our alliance, and the Talus will flee before it. I will see you again, Father.
Selkai the Swift agreed to an alliance? That's great. It's terrible about our dad dying, of course, but otherwise it's great. But good news is always followed by bad news. Word moves fast among the Lycandi. A warrior called Bell and the Ready is refusing to accept Salkai as the new chief. He feels Salkai isn't ready to lead. We need to meet with Bell and the Ready and make him agree to an alliance. Or at least to follow Salkai the Swift. You'll need to offer a gift, as is customary. The hide of a black saber fang should do it. We need to make a good impression. Just remember, different races have different customs. Be open to that.
You speak with Belen the Ready, leader of the pack, hunter of Talus. Why have you come to my den? You know our customs, but you are just an outsider playing the wolf. Speak your words while you still have a tongue. We are the Light Candy, the true Light Candy, not the mangy wolves that run with Salkai the Swift. We will never hunt alongside outsiders. We do not need aid. The Talus will die under our spears. Their blood will nourish the packed lands. These are the faults of Coit the Quick. Belen the Ready runs faster, bites deeper, hunts quieter than Salkai the Swift. I should have been chosen as pack leader. Why does the earth shake? Like in the mighty, she awakens! It sounds like Lycan the Mighty is wide awake. She's one of the sacred beasts you need to obtain life force from. The Lycandy people cherish her like a god. Lycan the Mighty was in the middle of a purification process. About 30 years back, she was exposed to a lot of dark chi and put herself into stasis to purge herself. But it looks like she's woken early. It must be due to all the disturbances in the natural flow of energy because of Jin Soyun. All her schemes are throwing everything out of balance. With her purification being interrupted, she's probably out of her wits. The Lycandy are going to have a lot of trouble getting Lycan the Mighty under control again. If a sacred beast is consumed by corruption, they'll turn into a terrifyingly powerful demon. And if that happens, well, let's just not let that happen.
Go now and help the Lycandy put Lycan the Mighty back to sleep. Hurry before she becomes corrupted. Wolf God made the like handy swear to quell her spirit if she ever awoke. This is the great hunt my blood father told of. On this day, Salkai the Swift will face the doom of these lands, and her spear will triumph. I have trusted your words before, outsider. Now will you trust mine? The Wolf God is not yet lost. She waits at the place of sealing. Listen carefully. Lycan the Mighty will split herself into many shadows. Defeat the shadows to reveal the orbs of Lycan's essence. Place the orbs in the stone pillars of the same color to seal away the Wolf God's fevered spirit. Now, Outsider, let us hunt side by side.
I greet you, outsider. I see now you are no simple craven. Lycan the mighty rests again, and the Lycandi have upheld their oath. Belen the Ready will never hunt with any outsider. However, I no longer doubt the might of Solkai the Swift. Hers is the spear that bested the wolf god's rage. All the pack has seen, and we all know she is the rightful pack leader. If the pack leader chooses to hunt alongside another pack, then so it is. Many like Candy will not share her opinion on this alliance. It will take time. However, Salkai the Swift is truly the blood daughter of Koid the Quick. I believe she will lead our future hunts well. Regardless, you are the hunter who helped free the Wolf God from the corruption. Her life force is yours to take. Lycan the Mighty would want her savior to take it. The life force waits for you, outsider. Take it and know the strength of the wolf. You have held true to the pack, Outsider. The Wolf God gave her life force to a fine warrior. I now lead all I can be. Belen the Ready has submitted. I am the true pack leader, and I claim you as a wolf of my pack. Lycan the Mighty rests once again, so our spears must return to the hunt. The Talus have tread on our pack lands for too long. We will join your Skyhaven Alliance, Wolf. Together, our packs will slaughter all Talus and clear all lands of their scent. The pack may need time, but when the Skyhaven needs us, I will hunt at your side again. For now, the one called Bondu waits for you at the Lilystock trade post.
This item is already in your inventory. What happened with the like handy? I heard their god woke up or something. What? Really? The Lycandi will join us? This is a huge win for the Skyhaven Resistance. Huge! I'm gonna get such a big promotion. Senior Relations Agent Bondu. I'll be sure to mention your name, of course. But we can't stand here celebrating. Up next is the Hogshead Pastures region. The farmer folk are pretty tired of the Talus interfering in their business. Sounds like the perfect place to find some willing recruits. Be sure to flash the Skyhaven badge when you get to the mill, so our agent knows we sent you. A dynamic quest has begun.
Welcome to the historic Hogshead Mill. I hope your stay here is hogtastic. I'm Kangbok. If you have any questions, feel free to holler. Put that away, you addlebrain narlocks. We're in public. What if somebody comes in here? What kind of a spy are you? Bondu sure knows how to pick him. Never mind. Look, I need your help with an important mission. This is vital to the survival of the Skyhaven resistance. Two days ago, a Skyhaven asset was captured. This person was carrying a very important letter. Right now, the letter is in the possession of the Talus Dispatcher Commander in Hogshead Pastures. We must recover that letter before it's decoded. I would do this myself, but it would blow my cover. This job requires someone who's not afraid of a little attention. Excellent. Find the dispatcher, and you find the letter. Now, please, laugh really loudly, like I told you a funny pig-related joke, and be on your way. Enjoy your stay at the Hogshead Mill, Traveler!
don't normally handle letters, but I'll get it to its intended destination. Great spirits! The coded message says the Guildmaster is still alive! His name is Hyungum. He was the old Guildmaster of Hogshead Hamlet. It was reported that he died in a fishing accident, and his body was lost at sea. But this letter says his death was faked. He's been kidnapped! But if we find him, he'll surely ally with Skyhaven. We must find out where Hyangum is being kept. I'll go back to Hogshead Hamlet. Meet me later for your next mission. Enjoy the milk!
quest item.
Welcome, traveler. Would you like to hear all about our upcoming Hog Apple Festival? I've got a brochure right over here. Okay, I found a promising lead on whoever kidnapped the Guildmaster, Hyungum. The Talus Bastards are too smart to do it themselves, so they may have subcontracted the kidnapping to the Hoglin. The Hoglin are a tribe of brutish warriors. They've terrorized Hogshead pastures for years until the Guildmaster drove them out. The Hoglin hated Hyungum. If anyone was involved in his kidnapping, it had to be them. But we need to know for sure. You're not going to like this part. We need you to make contact with our deep undercover agent in the Hoglin secret base. The agent will know if the Hoglin kidnapped the Guildmaster. It's in an outhouse, and our agent there is disguised as a really smelly pig. Have fun with this one. Guest outhouse facilities are just around the corner. item. Agent Kangbot's message, Khan Ohm, Master of Disguise, at your <laughs> service. Me? <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. I find it's best for these deep cover situations to <laughs> completely give yourself over to the role. I even eat slop now. No, I haven't swinged him. But there is one section of this base I don't have access to. There's a room just past that heavily guarded corridor. I haven't been able to uh, sniff my way around there. I'm not exactly the greatest martial arts expert. If you help me dispatch the guards, we can look for the Guildmaster in that room.
dear. I was afraid of this. Wolves. The pig's natural enemy. <laughs> my disguise was too amazing. It even fooled these wolves. My acting genius has proven our undoing. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Warrior, you must defeat these wolves, or we'll never make it back to town. I'll stay here while you clear the way. I'd help, but pigs aren't great fighters. I'll just be back here, uh, in that dirt patch. I admire your dedication to the Skyhaven cause, but maybe take a bath the next time you return from an outhouse, hmm? Agent Khan Um filled me in. Looks like the Hoglin had nothing to do with the kidnapping of the Guildmaster. And there's more bad news. I've hit a dead end in my investigation. I've completely exhausted my list of contacts, and if I keep aimlessly snooping around town, I'll blow my cover for sure. Um, well, there's still Sehun. Sehun was the Guildmaster's closest advisor. He may know more than he lets on. He's very secretive. You're going to need to ingratiate yourself to him before he'll open up. Okay, I've got a plan. Tell Sehun you've decided to give up the life of a warrior. You want to settle down and farm to the end of your days. Offer to work on his farm to learn the business. And bring him some firewood when you go. Earn Sehun's trust. Hopefully he knows something about the kidnappers. <laughs> 